Honourable Member David Bennett. Thank you, Mr Chairman. And um, I'd like to just congratulate the Minister on the great work that he has done in this area over um, the last three years. Um, yeah, been an exceptional Minister. Um, you know, always welcome in the Waikato, um, can come there any time, um, unlike the opposition members which never come to the Waikato, and when they do come they don't have anything to say of any consequence. Oh, that, that member, that member that, that's pretty much a, a non-event when they do come, if they do come. So, um, so Mr Twyford, we hear this speech every year from the, the, the Labour Party. They're saying how they're going to have a multimodal solution, using all the terminology about we're investing in roads and rail and maritime and all those things and public transport. All that talk. No actual definite details about what the Labor Party wants to do. Why don't they come out and actually say what they want to do? And there is a reason, New Zealanders, why they don't come out and say what they want to do, because they know what they want to do is in direct conflict with the Green Party. That's right. And they cannot afford to have that fight before the election. What? Who runs transport policy in the left wing? It is the Green Party. It is Julianne Genta. Julianne runs it, not Phil Twyford. Order, order. Members if, all know. if you were a betting person, you would put your money on Julianne Genta to have more power over the transport portfolio than Mr Phil Twyford, the nice guy that he may be. And that is the reality of the Labour Party policy. It's all hot air and talk and no commitment. Will they commit to the Waikato Expressway? No. They will not commit to the Waikato Expressway. They will not commit to building that because they know that Julianne Genta has gone out and said that she wants to review that project. Julianne Genta, when asked about that project a mere two weeks ago, said that the Green Party would review that project. What about other roads of national significance around the country? What about the Puhoi Road, which I'm sure Mike Saban will want to know about? What's the Greens' policy on that? What's the Greens' policy on Transmission Gully? They will tell us in the next time. They will be open and honest and tell you what they think. They will go out there and say they're not doing them. The Labor Party, in effect, will not be doing them either. So New Zealanders need to listen to what the Green Party is saying, because that is the Labor Party transport policy. And then we have New Zealand First, the other arm in the, in the Labor left-wing government of the uh, attempt at trying to get a, a, a seat in Parliament, and they came up with this transport policy, which I would love to see re-articulated in this House, because we had a transport debate last week, this, last week, and we had the New Zealand First transport policy, and that was for passenger rail from every city in New Zealand. Passenger rail from Whanganui to Wellington, passenger rail from Hamilton to Auckland, passenger rail from Timaru to Christchurch, passenger rail everywhere and anywhere. Ah, oh, that's it. And all these trains would have been built in New Zealand, of course, under New Zealand First policy. But I want to see New Zealand First come up here and say what they said at that transport come from. Dennis O'Rourke's got his ch chance to come out and say it. How? How is New Zealand going to afford a train from Whanganui to Wellington? Tell me that. How are we going to afford that? Because that's what the New Zealand First policy is. The Green policy actually pales in comparison to New Zealand First. The Green Party used to be the, the party of trains, but now it's New Zealand First that's the party of trains. And, and the Green Party now has to up its game to match that. On this side, on the other side of this House, on the government side, we see a party that has got good, strong leadership and has got a minister that has taken a balanced approach to transport funding. Not only have we invested heavily in the infrastructure of our roads, but we have invested heavily in our rail network. We have invested in the Kiwi Rail turnaround plan. We have invested in public transport options in Auckland and we have a plan for that public transport going forward. That is a balanced approach. 
and we've taken action in the maritime and, and aviation areas where it has been required as well. That is what transport policy demands, not the Julianne Genta uh, model of transport policy. Thank you, Mr Chair. I call the Honourable Member Mike Saban. Oh, thank you, Mr Chairman. It's uh, fantastic follow in the wake of the... Uh